Hello, I'm going to uh, do a quick tutorial on how you can install the firmware on a TalkPod N58 or any other Android uh, device um, like the Enrico T320, this one here, or um, also the TM7 that I have here on the back. It's exactly the same uh, procedure, absolutely no difference. The thing is uh, to to install it here on the top pod N58 you need a special cable like this because uh, the top pod N58 does not have a USB uh, normal port it only uses this, uh, this um, sort of uh, plug so I'll just uh, switch it on uh, to plug it on here and I will leave it like this uh, because we are going to, to need it later um, if we were going to make the, the firmware installation of the T320, the Enrico, or any other standard Android radio, we would use just a regular USB cable like this one. Okay, so but the procedure is the same, and I'm going to show you how how uh, it works on a Windows 10 64-bit computer. All right, and the first thing you want to do is you want to go to uh, this blog here from Enrico shop or Enrico.shop and there's a very um, detailed explanation on what needs to be done step by step okay so the first thing to do install uh, the the flash tool the flash tool is the software used to download uh, the, the the ROM files to your to your radio okay and uh, you just want to go to spflashtool.com you choose windows which i believe you're going to use um, otherwise you wouldn't look in, into this video uh, it will download it will install the files and once installed you will have something like this here let me go to program files this is where i have installed my flash tool and here i am flash tool okay so this is the flash tool so the the next thing you want is to install the drivers for this radio which is uh, pretty much the same procedure for any type of radio and I can download the drivers uh, from the the website that I just told you before here from Enrico.shop and you see here you have drivers for Windows XP, Windows 7, 8 and 10. I'm running Windows 10 in here, so I'm going to download the drivers for Windows 10. OK, and these are my drivers here. OK, these are my drivers. And for my computer is the 64-bit the version. OK, I downloaded the drivers. Now I want to install the drivers. And this is the tricky part, uh, because uh, for Windows 10, running the 64-bit um, version, you need uh, to uh, make a, a small trick because these drivers are unsigned and you need Windows to let you in, uh, install drivers without a signature. And to do that, you have this option here uh, or this link says that you need to follow all these steps. And when you click here, you will see a complete list of steps one by one that you have to to do in order to have your windows to let you install the drivers um, and um, once you complete all this then you're done okay but I'm going to show you how to do it okay so maybe uh, you can either follow the video uh, and and do it uh, in your computer as you listen to the video or you just uh, take note and uh, then you have then you go through all the process okay so first thing is to go to settings so i'll just go to settings here it's a bit slow this computer but it's uh, good enough for this kind of job okay then you, you choose update and security you go here to the left pane and you go to recovery and finally advanced startup you click here in restart now and the computer is restarting let it uh, work for a little bit 
here it comes now you want to choose this option troubleshoot advanced options startup settings and restart it will restart again and now when it starts you will have to make it uh, start without asking for uh, drivers with a signature so you can install any sort of drivers and to do that is here you see option number seven that says disable driver signature enforcement so I click on seven and my little computer will start again uh, but will let me install drivers for this uh, top pod here and uh, you only have to do this once obviously and the next time I start the computer I would I wouldn't be able to install drivers without a signature again okay so you always have to to, to do this if you want to reinstall drivers um, to that require a signature okay but uh, as I say I mean for this procedure you only need to do it uh, this one time okay um, I take this opportunity to let you know that this cable here let me remove here the desktop charger this cable here uh, doesn't come uh, by default with your 12 pod N58 you have to order it separately it's the I will show you it's the TPC03 uh, part number okay and you want make sure you, you get a cable like this if you want to upgrade the firmware of your top pod I have the latest firmware on this one here I'm going to sacrifice it just for the sake of this video because it's a little bit of a pain to install the drivers I have to put my password here I just want to make sure it's not going to be <laughs> public there you go so now we are ready to install the drivers uh, for our uh, talk pod or any Android radio as I said the drivers are absolutely the same okay and how do you install the drivers you want to go here again and you this time you we go to um, device manager device manager I'm sure there's a better way to to go there but as I said I mean I'm I'm not a big uh, fan of Windows and I don't know how to use it very well <laughs> so I think this will be good enough I'm not using uh, a video with um, with a proper um, with with just featuring the screen of the computer because I it's important that you see uh, the procedure regarding the cables and I wanted to make make something quick and easy and uh, as far as you are listening to the video it's going to be easy to, to do it on your own okay so here now I'm on the device manager I have to click here on my computer name the one on the top and I go to action and I select the second one here add legacy hardware okay and I want to do next here I have to change to install the hardware that I manually select I do next and show all devices I do next and now I say that I have disk okay <laughs> obviously it's not from a uh, drive <laughs> I don't know if these things still exist but uh, you have to browse and you want to make sure here you go to the direct you where you have downloaded the drivers okay and in this case I'm going to choose the 64 bit because it's the type of driver we are installing and I say okay it will show you a bunch of devices or virtual devices that are going to be installed you say next and you go to finish okay if it asks you if you are sure you want to install a driver with the, with the red alert you have to choose the second option saying yes I'm sure this is what I want to install okay um, and now you see here MediaTek driver and it has an exclamation mark with this danger sign now what you want to do here is you click on the right uh, mouse button 
and you want to uninstall the device okay i know this is this sounds weird but that's what you have to do and make sure you do not check this box otherwise you'd have to go through the pro whole process again okay you just want to click here uninstall and you're done okay the driver is installed and now we go back to the flash tool okay so let's run our flash tool you remember you have already installed it before rebooting the computer so you should remember where you have it I have installed my here and the program files go to flash tool and that's it and it's starting okay so now I have here my uh, flash tool ready to install the firmware on my talk pod now this is the part where you want to choose which files belong to this radio and I have a hard disk here with all the firmware of my uh, different radios so you, you want to make sure you have the right files for your radio okay so you should ask to the to the whoever uh, sold you the radio to give you the right files um, to to install and here you want to install the, to choose the scatter file no it's it's a text file uh, and uh, it has scatter at, in the end of the name so there's nothing you, you cannot make any mistake it's very clearly okay you always have here the chipset number uh, and this may be different from radio to radio but for sure it's going to be uh, written scatter okay so you, you know which file it is okay I'm going to choose open and now all the files for the ROM are ready to be sent to my radio okay so this is the only parameter you have to add something okay here the second one you'd have to choose the right scatter file you don't want to to put anything here in authentication file but you have to choose firmware upgrade not download only okay is the firmware upgrade option here in this combo box and you're ready no you're not ready because you have to push download first make sure the radio is not yet connected to the computer now you want to press download okay and now we are ready to plug the USB cable into the computer sorry and you get all these bars here now it's formatting you get the green the purple and now the yellow one that is going to take this is now downloading and flashing my radio okay so the talk pod is being upgraded to the latest version this uh, ROM here I'm installing actually fixes a small issue this radio had with the volume button because it was either too high or too low and uh, this will give you a more smooth volume control okay it's not uh, the final ROM there are still some small issues being solved on this uh, radio but uh, it's definitely already a, a good improvement with this uh, flash uh, files it's 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 quite nice actually that you're able to to make improvements to the radios after they are ready with customers uh, with new features sometimes uh, so it's it's good it's a good way so it's always nice that you have uh, the flash tool installed on your computer with the drivers updated so you never know when you're going to need and uh, if you have different models and different radios and you really like to get into this stuff it's good to have a computer prepared to to, to use the the flash the flash tool okay because new roms are coming out uh, not on a daily basis but uh, it's very common to have updates and and with new features coming out so this is uh, really exciting okay the process takes uh, around uh, two minutes and uh, it's already it's about to to stop now and here you are you are ready now you have a radio with the latest firmware I can now switch off the cable 
and um, and here it is. This is the latest version. It's it's going to to start. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this talk video. Radio. Here's the talk pod radio. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. It was a pleasure. And uh, if you need any help, you just uh, drop me a line here in the comments, or just visit my blog. is network dash radios.com or uh, you can also check megahertz.shop. I'll be happy to assist you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.